back to my channel. My name is Lena. If you guys are new, I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. I would love for you guys to subscribe if you're not already part of the fam. I have been wanting to film this video for so long. I have been collecting like a little list on my phone and my notes. Like anytime I can think of a modest hack, I like write it down. And I have 10 to share with you guys today. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's jump right in. Okay, so the first one is not so much a hack, but more of a necessity for me. So I have like invested in a little collection of high neck, long sleeve, very thin undershirts in like white colors and neutral colors that can go under my clothes because there are so many clothes in my closet that have like v-necks or like cutouts, like lace, um, like keyhole backs, anything that will show my skin. And these are just absolute necessities for me. I will link below some that are available down below, but I get these everywhere from H&M, um, Mango, Gap, I think I've gotten some from Banana Republic before, but I will link some down below, but these are just absolute essentials. I know it's not necessarily a hack, but we will get into those next. <laughs> next up, I have this really gorgeous silky satin cami dress. Not something you would look at and be like, Hmm, definitely modest, but I have a hack to make it modest for you. So during the winter time, you can throw a chunky sweater over top of this and it will look like a satin skirt with a sweater on top. So that is like one of the best hacks because I think it's just the most beautiful trendy outfit while still being able to like wear pieces in your wardrobe that you wouldn't necessarily think is modest. I kind of have filtered out v-neck shirts out of my wardrobe just because I know that I will not wear them. But if you have any v-neck t-shirts or like scoop neck t-shirts or anything with like a lower neckline in the front, what you can do is you can turn them around and wear them backwards and usually they will have a higher back. So it'll be like a higher neckline. You Usually I would wear like a blazer over top of the t-shirt or like a cardigan or something and it just ensures that yet that everything is covered in the front and you don't have to worry about a v-neck but I have literally cleared out every single v-neck t-shirt or scoop neckline t-shirt out of my wardrobe so I literally have to go to Target and grab <laughs> an example t-shirt for you guys so I can show you <laughs> my next hack has to do with boots in the fall winter time so you guys this is one of my favorite hacks ever whenever you have like a little bit more of a cropped like jean or pant or something or even just like a midi skirt that's like almost long enough but like not really long enough I always just grab my high ankle boots so they come up higher on the ankle and they cover up that area that you need to cover up so I think these are absolute essentials and just like the perfect hack to give you some extra coverage in the fall winter time similar to the last hack I have high knee boots or knee high boots. I have had people tell me I say that wrong, but um, anyways, I wear high knee boots with skirts, like shorter, not short skirts, but like maybe shorter midi skirts that come like right below my knee. And these cover up my legs and it just ensures that you are modest. And that is just one of my absolute favorite hacks during the fall winter time. Um, I have so many different colors of high knee boots just so that I can wear that specific outfit because it's just one of my favorites. <laughs> the next hack has to do with gym clothes. And you guys, I have struggled so much over the years with like dressing cute at the gym and like dressing modestly at the gym. It's just been such a struggle for me. What I do is I wear joggers with a long sleeve running shirt and like the Nike hijab and tennis shoes. But sometimes like my running shirts are just not long enough and I just need some more coverage on the backside just to feel a little bit more comfortable. So I always just tie a long sleeve running shirt around my waist. It's a really lightweight. I'll just like, sometimes I'll just just tie it like it literally in a knot and it does not budge. I've worn this shirt tied around my waist doing like cardio, doing yoga, doing all kinds of stuff and it does not budge, especially if you like actually tie it in a knot. Um, yeah, it's just like the perfect easy hack for the gym. I get so excited when I'm able to use this next hack. So when you're shopping online and there's a store that offers sizes in tall, if you're looking for like an item like a midi skirt or like something that's more cropped and you want it to be longer, just order it in tall and it will be the length that you need it to be. It's amazing. I've done this for like cropped pants. I've ordered them in the tall and they're like the perfect length for me. I've done it with midi skirts. I have one from Topshop that I ordered in tall and it's like the perfect length. So really good tip to just keep an eye out for different websites that offer tall. I know Banana Republic does this. I know that Topshop does this, but yeah, 
Anyways, it's a really good tip. Next hack is for making your white pants non-sheer. So I know a lot of you guys have the same struggle as me where you wanna wear white pants but they're never lined or they're just too see-through and it just ruins the vibe. So one thing that I have found that really works for me is white leggings and I will just wear my white leggings underneath the unlined pants and I'm usually fine. Um, if you find leggings to just be like too restricting and like just too many, like too thick of a layer underneath, they have these things called pant liners. I have found them and they're great, but the ones that I found were cropped and I needed them to be full length. If I can find some pant liners, I will link them down below. They're just like a really thin, like non-sheer material that you wear underneath the pants. But if I can't find those, then white leggings have worked really well for me. My next hack is to actually make use of your tailor. So there are so many dresses I feel like and other clothing items that have like a v-neck or like if it's a skirt or a dress, it'll have like just a huge slit. Usually I would just kind of like blow those items off. Like, oh, those will never work. Like there's just no way, but there is a way. You can just take them to your tailor and all they have to do is just sew closed the v-neck, which is what I did with this beautiful dress that I wore to the Streamy Awards. It had a really gaping v-neckline and I just couldn't pass up the dress, so I just took it to my tailor and they closed it up and I was able to wear it and it was fine. I also have this dress, which I have not taken to my tailor yet, but I really need to because it has a um, a v-neck like a really low v-neck and it has a really high slit and both would be so easy to close and I would just feel so much more comfortable wearing this all they would have to do is put like a little like stitch right there and it would be closed and then this is really easy to close as well because it's not like a slit that has a gap in between the fabric if you know what I mean it's just kind of like it just flows straight down just like any normal dress would so all you have to do is close it so make use of your tailor <laughs> Number 10 is how I make my ripped denim jeans modest. So a lot of times there are some really gorgeous denim styles that have distressing on the knees or like other places, but then I don't want to show my skin. So what I have found is that they have these denim patches that are iron on. So I found these in like sewing sections at Walmart. I'm sure they even have them on Amazon. I will link some down below, but they come in different like denim colors. So you can match the color of your jeans and you just turn your jeans inside out you iron the patch on the back and then you are covered and you don't have to wear like another layer like leggings underneath your jeans or anything like that because that would be like way too overboard for me and yeah I think it's just a really good way to make your distressed denim modest give this video a thumbs up if you've ever tried any of these fashion hacks before or if you plan on trying any of these and if you have any more hacks like that you guys use that I did not mention then leave them down below we need as many modest fashion hacks as we can get I love you guys so so much and I will see y'all in my next video bye